Uh, hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial of uh, Scale. Uh, in this one I will show you how to create a Mushra test. So um, we would uh, go in this case to create and we would write the name of our test. Uh, I will write Mushra tutorial and uh, we press confirm and we select here the type of test, Mushra. Uh, Mushra test is uh, a standard test now, uh, like made it uh, standard by the ITU and it is uh, useful to, to evaluate the difference um, between samples which have, uh, let's say, a difference which is between uh, medium and uh, large and the uh, useful thing is that uh, you can compare at the same time um, a set a set of samples uh, the scenario order it is not important uh, here like uh, in this moment so we will just set it to auto so we will start with scenario one and we will finish with scenario n in a test having n scenarios and then the number of questions uh, yeah, in a moisture test, normally you hear the you have a reference sample, then you have a, a hidden reference, then you have a, an anchor, and then you have the the modified samples or the samples under study. Uh, here, in the number of questions, um, we would select uh, a number, and for example, if we select uh, eight questions. Uh, thus, it, this will mean that we will have the reference and then we will have uh, eight questions. Um, in those, one will be reference, one anchor and six modified uh, stimuli. So if we have eight, we have to eight, uh, add um, in the sample adding process, eight samples. So, yeah, we will select eight and you will see now what I mean when adding the samples. About the example scenario, uh, if, if you have watched uh, other tutorials or read the documentation, maybe you know what is it. In this case, we will not uh, make any example scenarios, so we will proceed uh, directly to add the samples. So uh, we press uh, add samples. A number of scenarios, we will uh, make five scenarios, for example, and uh, samples per scenario. Uh, we can select it now. Uh, the number of scenarios, it's uh, already set. I mean, if you set it now and you press uh, confirm, the, you cannot change this. So we just set it to five. Samples per scenario, you can set it now and change it later when adding the samples. So we will sell, uh, leave just uh, one sample and press confirm and then in the sample loading add more samples so we press confirm as we see here here we have the different scenarios and here uh, the samples in the sample slots in every scenario we will uh, first proceed to add to import the samples from to our directory so we press add and we find the samples I have some samples uh, prepared here in stimuli uh, and we just select all of them although we will not use all of them but it will be more comfortable than to add so we have here um, yeah in the moisture test it is very important that the number of samples is the same as the uh, number of questions so if you don't remember we said we said we want to have eight questions uh, so this means that we will be making eight comparisons and we need eight samples so we proceed to add slots for every scenario uh, yeah we will make it scenario by scenario uh, sample number one uh, will be the reference that will be also used as a hidden reference. Sample number two, uh, if you want to have an anchor, it should be the anchor. So the anchor in this case we have uh, should be always the sample which is more different to the reference. So then we have like a clue 
uh, on how the subject uh, rated the differences. He should always rate the anchor, uh, um, saying that was the, sam the more uh, different um, sample, uh, to say it somehow. So, yeah, here in the anchor, we will take the sample which is more different. We will be using 8, uh, starting from 125 and uh, going down. So we would add first this one, 26, 27, oops, 28, 29, 30, 31. And here we need, the, as I said, lot of times the one that which is more different to the reference. So it would be then if the last was 131, 132. Uh, scenario number two, we made the same, uh, but we will be starting in this case to make it a little bit different with 250, 251. I mean, it sounds a little bit complicated, but if you are performing this test, I, I suppose uh, you know how it works. So then it makes uh, more sense, all this sample adding process. Um, yeah, 256. Yeah, and here, as I said before, the one which is more different, 257. Yeah. So same, 8. Oops. Uh, now with starting with 500. 500, 1, 500, 2, 3, 4, I mean, uh, this process is a little bit, uh, uh, here, 507, a little bit slow. There's the option uh, on the window before of uh, automatically loading the samples. Uh, this is explained in the tutorial and uh, normally, I mean, if you make a small test, maybe it's not, I mean, it's for me it's always useful because I know how it works. Uh, but if it does, the test is small uh, with not too much scenarios and not too many samples, we will make here again, starting with 125. With not uh, many scenarios and, and so, then it's okay. But if you have a lot of scenarios and a lot of samples, then it's very useful, the automatic loading, because you just need to order your samples or write your samples alphabetically, and then the system, you will just click one button and make all this process automatically, so you will save um, actually a lot of time. 37 and here 39 okay and the same I don't know if you saw it now I'm taking difference of 2 hertz for every sample so and here we will start with 250 and here 252 254 uh, 256 257, no, 258 should be uh, here, 260, and 262, and here the one which is more different, 264. Yeah, uh, samples are added, which just check to be sure, because if not, it will be an error, and we will have to, to repeat that all of them have uh, eight, um, eight samples per scenario as the number of questions, so they all have. We press confirm. And uh, now we would proceed to set the, inst uh, the instructions. The general instructions, we would write, uh, please, subject, uh, make the following test. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you for uh, your part.
the situation. Uh, it, uh, I, I always say you would write here some uh, longer um, instructions and so, but um, yeah, in this moment we don't want to. I don't have imagination, so I will just write this. Uh, in the scenario instructions, you should write the instructions that are uh, appearing in the scenario. So, in this case, in every scenario, you can write them uh, differently. Uh, for every scenario, normally you write the same, but the option is there. So, scenario instructions, uh, we will write, uh, please, we need to explain a little bit to the subject what is the test about. Please, um, rate... <coughs> every sample uh, <coughs> um, please write every sample comparing it to the reference sample uh, you can listen any sample by pressing the button under it um, yeah so we just copy the same instructions like this and we just confirm and uh, yeah uh, our test is done if you had any I think if you have any error here like you selected eight, eight questions and in one scenario you edit one samples the problem will will uh, show up here when you press finish and then you have to repeat everything in this case so that's why I said that um, one should be uh, very, should check it two times when it's adding the samples that this and this <coughs> make sense so yeah we finish here everything was fine uh, yeah and now when we go to perform we see that we have here our new Mutra test uh, available so thank you for watching and uh, if you want to learn more about scale watch more tutorials thank you and uh, bye